tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer animation. Computer animation. Let's get started with animation. There are about 350 tutorials I did about Maya and I sometimes get, very rarely actually, criticism that the tutorials are too complex or too simple. Of course, Maya is such a complex program that you cannot serve all needs. But what is really lacking, I agree with some of you, is basic steps in Maya. That's why I did a tutorial which merely shows you how to open Maya, to launch it, to be patient and wait until it's ready for your commands and then navigate in a scene. Uh, if you remember that tutorial, it's uh, it's extremely simple, but it needs you need to get uh, use this tutorial in order to get going here because uh, it's that simple but that effective and that necessary. Uh, this is Alt key and the left mouse button. I just rotate the camera around in the scene around this cylinder in this case. This, just to recap things from that tutorial, is the middle mouse button. So I dolly the camera up and down, left and right. I'm not getting closer, I'm not rotating around it. Rotating around it is the Alt key and the left mouse button. And this is the right mouse button here, which dollies in and out. It doesn't zoom in and out because we're actually moving a camera, a virtual camera here in Maya and uh, we can go in and out. You can always use the mouse wheel if you want. Okay, uh, when we start Maya the first time it comes with an empty scene like this. And today I want to show you something about how to move, rotate and scale an object. Let's uh, choose this object here for example. You find it under polygon modeling when you have another tab open you can use this one as well. This is basically the same thing in another topology. That means it can be manipulated differently but the basic manipulation is always the same. So let's go to polygon modeling and uh, create a cone. The cone sits in the middle of the scene. Now Alt left mouse button. I kind of rotate around the object. I want to get closer to the object. That's Alt and the right mouse button, so I get closer to it. Now it would be nice, now I'm using the left mouse button again, I don't even think about it, I just do it naturally and you need to internalize things as well. This is the middle mouse button. Uh, we want this cone to be a little bit up because it's diving below this, the, the grid now, just for aesthetic reason. And there are three keyboard keys which need to be remembered. They sit right next to each other. One is the W. When I press W just once it turns the locators here into the three arrows. When you press the key next to the W which is E you get this rotation thing and the next one to the E is the R and this gives you these cubes here. So W for translation, as it's called, moving, E for rotating, and R for scaling. And if you want to get rid of that manipulator, you just press the key left to the W, which is Q. So let's press W in order to get the controls for up and down, left and right, back and forth. Uh, you can use this manipulator in basically two ways. And they're very interactive and very simple. Which sh keyboard sh shortcut am I using now? It's Alt and the left mouse button. Here you see a green plane. If you pick that green plane and move the mouse, left mouse, you move the cone back and forth, but always in that level. It's still staying in the same level. And the same applies to this one, the blue one, which moves it around left and right, up and down, but not to the back. 
So we can move it up now like this. The most used manipulator handles are the arrows. The arrow here, the arrow here, and the arrow here. And down here you see the axis. So that is the Z axis. The right one is the X axis. And the one pointing up is the Y axis. So that's the key W. Now let's go to the key E. The key E is for rotation. And it basically does this. That's all. The third tool is the R key. It scales the object. When you scale it from the middle, from that yellow cube, you scale the whole object. You make it bigger or smaller. If you scale it using one of these dots right here, with the red one is scaling it in the x-axis. That means in that axis. It's getting wider in that axis. And the same thing in the z-axis and in the y-axis. Now if you want the cone to be placed on that ground grid now, you need to move it up. How do you do this? Well, you press W because you need to move it, not rotate or scale it, you need to move it. And then you move it up like this. If you want to control whether it's above the ground, on the ground or whatever, you use the navigation tools. Alt, left mouse button, and this looks quite okay. You can get closer to it, Alt and right mouse button, like this. And this still looks quite okay. It's a little bit above the ground, so you go a little bit further away and move it slightly down. And you get closer and you think, well, that could be it. And that's all I wanted to show you for today. Let's recap. Navigating in the scene, Alt key and the mouse buttons. This one, this one, and this one. Moving, scaling, and rotating is the keys W, that's for moving, E for rotating, R for scaling. And with this I'll leave you alone and I wish you a very good day. Bye bye.